Me I stink. Did you just say I stink? Come back here. I'll show you. The kids are so friendly and hyper and excited. Um, it's cool to be playing pool in the pouring rain in Chagasi, and it's somewhere I never expected to be. And I survived my first yak butter tea experience. So, all in all, it's been a really good day. I uh, just finished playing some eight ball, kind of, pretty close to eight ball, just slightly modified. Uh, three games for three kwai, works out to less than 50 cents. That's a pretty good deal. And it's not even the little tiny bar tables you get back home either. It's good stuff. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Those, they're uh, they're all real friendly. Everybody wants to help you line up your next shot. It's like a community effort. Everybody's like. You should hit this ball. Oh, no, no, you should hit this ball. Oh, this one's a good one. And uh, the kids are a kick. <laughs> they seem to like cameras. And, uh, yeah, there, it's uh, all kinds of fun around here. Everybody, anything you do seems to attract a crowd. I don't know if it's uh, just me. Just me? What's your name? Fati. Fati? Fati. Oh, I just want to take them all home with me. My goodness, we had a day today. It was, uh, we did a lot. Let's see, uh, first we got up and uh, we went and uh, wandered around the Tibetan section of town. We wandered through some of the back alleyways. We talked with a Tibetan for the first time and he had a very interesting um, take on the Chinese Tibetan situation and definitely a perspective um, that was good for me to hear as far as an actual Tibetan finding the Chinese um, help and assistance to be really worth. Um, it's not necessarily something I wasn't expecting or was expecting, but um, what he told us is that um, they're kind of partnered with cities from China. Um, Beijing, for example, funds some projects in Lhasa. Shanghai has projects here in Shigatse. Um, and it's just interesting to hear um, they're kind of mixed or contradictory feelings on the one hand, it, it's sort of subsuming the Tibetan culture, on the other hand, it's making life a lot easier and providing many more opportunities. Um, so it was just nice to hear that from a non-Tibetan official, a non-Chinese official, and get that um, straight from the mouth of a Tibetan, and it's definitely an interesting perspective, and I would definitely like to talk to more people to see what they think about it.